What's up you guys? Welcome to another video. So we decided to come out to Miami, Florida today. Something different, something that you guys have probably not seen on our page, so I have to come check this thing out. All I'm gonna do is just show you guys real quick. I'm not gonna show you anything, no motors, no nothing. Just take a quick peek, quick peek. That's it, just a quick peek. I'm sure you guys know what that is. So we're loading this up in the trailer. We're gonna bring it home, bring it to the shop, surprise the guys. Uh, I think they're gonna get a kick out of this. It's gonna be a pretty cool little project. So um, yeah, hope you guys like this video. Oh really? Right. Why are you guys like all here? Right, open up. There is not lick it. Come here, let me tell you something. There's not wait, 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 come here. Oh my god, this is what I get every time I go somewhere and I bring the trailer back. Before I open anything up, you please hold this for a second. Yeah. When you see what's in here, you're gonna laugh because you're gonna be like, Baba, what the hell is this? This is a project. It's literally, it's, it's a shop project. That's what I got. It's a shop project. Another stooge. Hey, Marina. Hey. How are you? I promise you, this is a shop project. You're going to look at it. I don't care. Are, I want to see Everybody's it. face is going to drop. They're going to be like, what the hell is that? I already know this. Happy birthday, so funny. I already know everybody's face is going to be like, wait. I don't want to know where this came from. I already know where it came from. I mean, I guarantee you. Wait, take a guess. I don't want to no, guess. No, no, take a guess it. because I guarantee you in a million years you have no idea what's in here. Civic. Camaro. In a million years. Is it an American car? You guys are all wrong Just already. open it. You guys are just going to laugh when you see this. It's just oh, a pickup truck. Shit. That's all it is. It's just a pickup truck. What the hell do you buy a hard body for? Where well, it's not that? just a pickup truck. It's not just a An RV? Holy shit! No way! What? What? It's an RV and Are you shaking me right now? What? It's crazy hearing an RV sound out of a hard body. This is what Ruddy's car sounds like. AC works? AC works? on this new project. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I want it. Yeah. Oh, you want What do you think? One of our, this has got to be one of our like craziest Plain little simple, projects. This has to get drifted. Imagine going to like OSW and seeing this thing sideways. Yeah. Well, like I said, we just got here. Show you guys a little bit more of the car. Yeah, not the car, the hard body, but um, with bucket racing, bucket racing seats in it. This is the key selling point. As you guys know, we can't have a hard body with an RV. So there's the, uh, it's got an RV20. It's gonna be a fun little project for us. We're gonna get it in our hands and, and as always, you know, give it our little touches, but 
It's pretty damn cool, man. This, this thing. This is a very clean swap. Yeah, the swap's been done really like, good. This guy did this very right. It's tight as hell. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean you yeah. want to talk about perfectly fitting. I mean, this thing has like. Well, I mean, an think inch. about it. If this wasn't there, that yeah. would be that bad. guys another update and video tomorrow once we have this at the shop we're gonna put on the lift check it all out see how it is and um we will talk to you guys then over and out yeah i, I can't talk i'm so excited all right let's see okay so this needs to be sideways i feel like obviously not full out drift car of course not a beat on it but obviously because it's unique but i mean come on can you imagine how sick this would be seeing sideways with a livery on it and like we full commit or like bringing this to the track when the 240's at the track. Or it, yeah, I'm just hyped. Once we do a bash bar, we gotta do a bash bar on it just to protect the, the intercooler and go through it. We're gonna do a full actually, uh, a full feature on the car too so you guys can check it out. We're just basically getting it all, kind of going through it right now. But uh, you guys, if, let's go for a quick ride though. Let's, let's take it for a quick ride so you guys can uh, Kind of hear the truck and see what it's like. I think it's so awesome. I think it's so cool. Camera, how big you're getting. So photogenic. I, I think the most impressive thing about this is the fact that this car has AC or truck. Like, I mean, colder than the Sylvia's AC, like colder than my car. Like, it, <laughs> yeah, this is pretty impressive. And it's got, Full speaker set up, like, you know, audio, subs, brand new speaker door. Uh, wow, I can't talk. <laughs> speaker door. You know what I mean. They got It's got a brand new speaker set up in the car. Uh, I think it's got a little kicker 10 inch in the back. Yep, it's a kicker 10 inch behind the seat. Um, but you could drive this thing every day normally. And, oh, it's cold. And, it's like freezing. Yeah, and still drive it like a normal truck. And it's practical, except now it's got an RV in it. Skyline truck. So, let's do a little pull. I mean, I, it's, it's stock, stock boost, but I mean, if obviously we intend on, you know, drifting it, we're not really gonna up the power. If anything, just get a good tune, make sure everything's reading properly, AFRs are good, and just have fun with it. I mean, just it doesn't need much to have fun. I feel like this thing will kick out pretty easily anyway, so why don't we, no, I'm just kidding, not right here. way too like bouncy I think you I think the guy did say I, I, I wasn't there I believe he said something with the leaf springs or whatever but I feel like if we are gonna commit to sliding this thing we should convert it to S13 rear end I'll turn around up here but I mean it you know it drives good I think I stalled it yeah I stalled it I've driven a car with a bump and dip in so long, dude. I forgot how much I hate <laughs> Like, it's so easy to kick out, but it's so annoying to drive. But it sounds sick. If anything, it's quiet. It's very quiet. thing I personally want to fix is the steering. It feels a little like there's a dead spot kind of in, within turning radius so to speak. So I, th I think it's probably because honestly the truck's so front heavy now but maybe the power steering pump is dying. I'm not sure but obviously we're going to go through the truck and you know add our touches to it. It's definitely, I'm telling you right now this truck's definitely getting a livery that's for sure. So. You guys think new shop maybe? <laughs> I wish. Maybe. Soon. Very soon. <laughs> Dirty 
even kick it out. All I do is just give it gas. I literally caught my hair, my hat in midair. It was flying <laughs> out the window. Yeah, it definitely. It's gonna need a little bit of suspension work yeah. if we're gonna drift it. It feels a little floaty. Yeah, exactly. That's the perfect word for it. It just feels too, too soft in the rear too. So I think, I mean, the biggest thing I personally think is that the truck has a lot of front weight. So the rear, like Lucas said, it's too floaty. So maybe throw a battery in the back, a fuel cell, just to try to add a little more weight in the rear of the truck. I think that'll help a lot. And then, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not gonna be a full drift car, but why not? You know what I mean? Imagine going to the skid pad at OSW and seeing a freaking RV swapped hard body going sideways. Like, that'd be so cool. With AC on, imagine sliding with AC. Like, that's a flex. <laughs> Buddy Jake is gonna give it a good wash for us. The, the truck is actually in really good condition. The chassis is great. I mean, even the interior, like the inside's super I know, nice. No cracks or anything. Literally a couple small things, like I wanna clean up the center console area here. And, you know, go from there. Do a little hole here at Turbo. You're driving a skyline that's a truck, essentially. Oh my god, that's so funny, dude. I'm hyped. 